Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel, PTL Empowerment, encouraging you to produce, to transform, and to lead. Today, I've decided to change it up a bit. I know you're accustomed to seeing me in my vehicle or, you know, in, in my office, but today I've decided to do this live in my kitchen. So that's right. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, so this is uh, beige Lisa, beige meaning Bayesian for short. And I'm here to just encourage you uh, today. I just want to send some love your way. I want to send some strength your way today. So I'm encouraging you, reminding you, if this is your first time viewing um, my videos, I want you to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up, like this video, and um, also send any comments uh, that you have for me. So as I was thinking about what to share, what should I share today? The, the Lord said, there are people out there that need to hear that your miracle is in transit. So ignite. That's right. Your miracle is in transit. So ignite. And I'm going, I'm going to share with you five, five ways to know that you're about to come into a miracle. Five ways that you can know that you're about to come into a miracle. And I remember... Um, reading in the book of First Kings 17, and it spoke about the widow of, of Zarephath, and the creditors were coming to take all that she had because her husband had died and he had left debt behind, and they were coming, and, and she didn't know what to do. And in her mind's eye, there's no way to turn. She couldn't turn to her left. She couldn't turn her to her right, and she felt that that was it for her. But God sent a man of God in the form of Elijah. But the thing that had me puzzled was that the first thing Elijah said to her, what is it that you have in your house? And I'm sure she was just busting her brain to find out because she had nothing. She had nothing. You know, anything that she had, she had to use to get money to go and pay her debts. Whatever little that was. So she had nothing. So she's wondering, why is, although I told this man, I don't have anything. Elijah said to her, go and make me a cake. A small loaf of bread. Go and make me a small loaf of bread from what you have. And she probably was like, this man deaf or what? Well, I just uh, got nothing. How, how is it he want me to go and make him a small loaf of bread from what I had? Anyway, she was obedient. And as she went, I believed that God so blessed her obedience. That as she went to the cupboard, that she was able to find the flower and everything that she needed to make that loaf of bread. You're hearing me this morning. It was because of her obedience. It was because she was willing to go, even though she knew that she didn't have anything. She was still willing to go, beloved. What is it God is saying to you that you need to do? And all you're seeing is despair. And you're not being obedient because you're saying, but I don't have. I don't have. When God wants to perform the miracle as your heart and your, your, your hands and your feet begin to walk towards that which he's telling you to do. Because of her obedience, she didn't only, she wasn't only able to make the loaf of bread. For herself, but she was able to make something for her and her son. Wow, wow. What revelation, huh? It is only in our yes, it is only in our going, despite of how the situation looks, despite of how we feel, despite of, you know, what 
is what, what we're seeing or what we're not seeing. It's in your going. It's in your obedience. That's right. That's right. And I want to tell you five ways that you will know that your miracle is in transit. It's on its way. Hallelujah. The first one. If all hell is breaking out in your life, all hell is breaking out in your life. All of a sudden, the stove not working, the microwave not working, the fridge not working. Oh, hell is breaking out in your life. When you look left, ah, oh, it, it's breaking out. When you look right, it's breaking out. All around you, all hell is breaking out. And all you're doing is holding your head and say, what next, God? Oh, God, I can't take no more. That's when you know that a miracle is on. It's where my brother and my sister, I'm so excited i'm dropping everything that's when you know that your miracle is on its way hallelujah hallelujah so begin to give god praise uh, begin to get into your praise dance oh man god have me just doing some praise dance all of a sudden hallelujah all hell is breaking out ha uh, the second way that you know that your miracle is on its way it's when your circle of friends and family begin to diminish before when you had it everyone was there everyone was around you everyone was for you everyone was celebrating you but then when everything start to dry up your friends and family start to dry up too and they not before you could depend on them. Now you can't depend on them. Now they don't want to talk to you. Now, you know, they're busy. You're not, they, your, your social media not blowing up. Nobody not noticing you. Your circle diminish. That's how you know that your miracle is on its way. My beloved brothers and sisters, get excited with me this morning because I ain't sharing nothing with you that I ain't experienced myself. Hallelujah. But my blessing, my blessings, and my miracles, and my breakthroughs were on the way, and they're still on the way. Number three. How you know that your miracle is on its way? You're running low on resources. My God, before you were able to write the check and not have to think about it. But now you got to think about how much money is now left on the account. If you have enough or if that check going to begin to do a dance and bumps its way back to you. Oh my God, that's how you know that your miracle is on its way. Oh, you're running low. You're running low. You can't pay your bills like you used to pay them. You can't give like you used to give. But my beloved brothers and sisters, take courage. Take heart. Ah, because this is proof that your miracle, that your blessing, it's intrinsic to you. Number four, to those of you who are feeling sick in your bodies, you've been diagnosed with some kind of ailment or disease, don't lose hope. Don't lose courage. This is just, hallelujah, another evident that your blessing, that your miracle is on its way. The doctors might say there ain't nothing that they can do for you. But I'm telling you, the greatest physician, the greatest doctor, he knows your name. He knows your situation. And he is on your case. Even if uh, your body is going through and you don't know what's happening and the doctors can't identify the issue, uh, but you know that the body no longer is how it used to be or how it should be. Take courage, my brother. Take courage, my sister. It's just the enemy messing with you and trying to steal your praise. But go into your praise space uh, and begin to praise the Lord nevertheless uh, because this is another way you know that your blessing is on its way 
And fifthly, number five, all you are getting is empty promises from people. People that can help you. People that know your situation. They're calling you to find out what you're up to. But really and truly, all they want to know is, oh, she's still in the same slump. Oh, that for she. And they want to help you even though they can help you. You know why they don't want to help you? There are two reasons why. It could be that God is blocking them. Because they ain't supposed to get the glory. Only the almighty God is supposed to get the glory in your life. So if you look around and you ain't seeing no help coming from your left or your right or in front of you or behind you. It's simply because God is your present help in the time of trouble. And he wants to be the one. To work it out for you. He will be the one to show up. He will be the one to bless. So even though you're being promised the job and it ain't coming true. You're, you're being promised bless, um, you know, help and assistance and it ain't coming true. Don't get weary. Don't get angry. Don't hit on them. Because it's just God setting you up for a greater miracle. That when the miracle comes, that beyond a shadow of doubt, that you will know that it is only the Almighty God that have brought you through. It is only the Almighty God, hallelujah, that has delivered you, hallelujah. And you can begin to praise Him and worship him because he is who he says he is he said he is your provider he will make a way where there seemed to be no way he will provide water in the wilderness hallelujah hallelujah streams streams in the desert so fear thou not my beloved brother my beloved sister Fear thou not. Your miracle is in transit. Your miracle is in transit. Begin to give God thanks for it. But I want to say something to you. There's something called the laws of attraction. And it's in the Bible. Where when we give, it is given. Yeah. When we give, it is given. When we blessed, we are blessed. When we encourage, we are encouraged. When we uplift, we are uplift. So don't make anybody feel. Don't feel that the blessings are only for a certain caliber of people. That law of attraction is there. And it works for anyone. The Christian, the Muslim, the book, every, everybody it works for. Because God is no respecter of person. The reason that it might not be working for you is that maybe it is you really don't believe it. You really don't believe that God wants to bless you? You really don't believe that you deserve to be blessed? You don't want to fly up in God's face? You don't want to step on nobody's corns? Well, let me tell you, I claim in it all because God says, that my gift makes room for me and bring me before kings. I, I am awaiting my entrance uh, to go before the earthly kings. Because I know that my blessing is out there. I know that when I do what I am required to do, that everything that I need, it is on its way to me. Tell me, 
If I'm not supposed to be waiting and praying and desiring good things of the land, why is it that the Bible says, if your father knows how to give you good gifts, how much more your heavenly father, if your earthly father knows how to bless you, how much more your heavenly father. So it means that God wants to bless you. God don't want to see you poor. God don't want to see you in lack. That God don't want to see you sick. But our mentality has to change. Our perceptions has to change. We need a shift. We need to allow those teaching moments to transition us. Because I believe that when you're in this season of drought, there's so much teachable moments that God will allow you to have. That as you take it into the, the, the season of abundance, that you will just continue to attract that wealth, that you will just continue to be in a multiplication, that you will just continue to see manifestations in your life. Hallelujah. I, wa I want to show you something this morning. All right, here I have two lighters, okay? So I'm going to deal with this one first. So I hope that you can follow, follow me, follow me. So I'm here, I'm trying to light the stove. So I keep stroking it, keep stroking it. Finally, there's a fire. There's a fire, but the fire is small. So I, I want to fan the fire because I want to try to see if I can get, get it, um, you know, higher. I want to see if I can get it to illuminate more. I want to see. So I'm fanning, I'm fanning. And that's, that's with this first lighter. May I say that this lighter is on its way out. So it does not have much fuel. So I'm gonna use this one, and I'm gonna use a different burner. My God, my God, look at that. Look at that. Look at how that ignited. My God, that's what God is about to do for some of you. Hallelujah. He's going to ignite the fire in your life. Hallelujah. That's the kind of ignition God wants to do in your life. You've been there and there have been sparks. And you've been trying to find the flames so that they would become like this. But let me tell you, when God says it, it's time for you to begin to shine, to begin, hallelujah, for the fire to ignite in this way that everybody will be able to see it. Everybody, hallelujah, as they step in, if I don't have a, a pot or anything in it, they would see this fire and they would want to know what is this fire for. I declare it to you today. That that's how God is going to ignite in your life. You're not going to have to fan the flames any longer. You ain't going to have to do it. Work yourself over time. Oh my God, my God. There's some of you, you're putting in everything uh, at that job. When God is saying, put into yourself, put into yourself. The same time, the same effort, the same uh, ideas that you're giving someone. Oh my God, I'm going to get some licks for this. But Holy Spirit, I ain't holding back. It's how God wants you to pretend for yourself. I am here to free, free some of you this morning. I'm here to tell you, let me tell you, it is God, God who is on your side. And if God before you, who can be against you? Who can be against you? They might be against you. They might not want to hear from you when you say, a video to them and they see that it is formed from you they might say they might not even open it because they might say what is it she got that she can tell me oh my god or instead of doing that they will send you other videos with people that they feel is better than you oh my god but I'm telling you continue to move forward when that jockey is on that horse uh, 
regardless of what position that jockey is in. Oh, he's saying that I want to finish. However, in whatever position, I'm telling you, you are that jockey. And God is galloping. You're galloping in God. And you're going to get to the finish line. Don't give up. Don't be dismayed. God got your back. Ah, a few days ago, I, I, I sent a video that says you are on God's radar. Oh my God. Oh my God. You are, you are on his radar. And they Ain't nothing nobody can do about it. Tell your, your haters, oh my God, I'm coming. It's my time. And let me tell you, sometimes, even in your own house, there are haters. Even in your whole own household. Because they really don't want to see you progress. Because they feel intimidated. Oh God, because they feel that if you progress and you could become blessed, oh, and your dreams come into reality, that you're going to begin to show them up. Show up that they don't have dreams. Show up that they're lazy. Show up that they don't know how to persevere. But my brother, my sister, my young person, I come to tell you today in my kitchen, hallelujah, to prepare, prepare the loaves. Because you know what? After the woman, she went, the Zerapath widow, go, and you can read upon it in 1 Kings 17, 7 to 16. After she went and she prepared the loaf for the man of God, and she prepared the loaf for herself, God caused such an a increase to come to her. God caused such an abundance to, God to come to her. So let me tell you, God only don't only want you to bless others, but he wants the blessings to come to you. There's no way that you should be given, given to the men and the women of God and not have for yourself. Check, check yourself, check yourself, check the ground that you're sowing in, check the spirit, check the spirit. Oh my God, it's hot in here. Woo, the anointing, the glory of God is in this place. Hallelujah. Worship him this morning. Worship him this morning. So I've come to tell you today, your miracle is in transit. If you want to be a blessing to this, to my ministry, I have a, a charity where I empower youth, um, you know, youth in prison, where I empower youth those who whose family really can't afford, you know, to help them through the, with their education programs that we're setting up to be able to do that. So you can cash at me at PTL Mentor. That's my cash app, PTL Mentor. And your blessing, whatever that is, starting with $5 is appreciative uh, between $5 to 50 because we are we are moving in multiples of five because God is coming to you in blessings you're going to receive five blessings at one time oh man lift your hands and say I receive it Lisa Lee I receive it because it's coming your way if you want to get in contact with me you can send me an email at produce transform lead at gmail dot Calm. Or if you want to do one of my um, sessions, I am an empowerment coach. You can also hit me up there at produce transform lead at gmail.com. But I know that your turn has come. Your turn has come. And all the hell that you've been going through is about to expire. Don't become weary in well-doing. Now, if I truly be a blessing to you, I want you to give me a big thumbs up. Like this video. Share it. Share it. Share it. There are people out there who need to hear this kind of motivation and know that regardless of where they're at right now, that God is up 
and in them. And that God, I don't care who you are. I don't care your status. I don't care what you believe in. Let me tell you, let me tell you, when the blessings begin to be released, you would understand that God is the one who've done it. And he will get the honor and glory for your life. So if you have a Muslim friend, send it to them. If you have a Hindu, send it to them. Send it to them. Because God is speaking to all peoples. Huh. So God bless you. This is Bayesian Lee, the Bayesian girl. The girl that's coming to you who is real. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye.